Hello, my fellow fan. Hello, my fellow readers. It's Dark Symphony Seven 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 with a short update video. Nah, that's not. It's nothing bad. So, so don't try and go. No, oh, he's leaving again after he fixed it. Well, the computer fixed itself. We fixed the computer fixed itself. Fine, that's nothing bad. Uh, I just wanted to give a little update over the situation with my life and moving forward as the channel. Uh, first things first. What's going on? A uh, short instance of what's going on in my life. Um, I'm still planning on moving out. Uh, you know, my family is making it hard to even live, much less do these videos. I still do want to do these videos a long time. May I don't know. Uh, not only do uh, the fan fiction stuff, but game, uh, game, uh, gaming content, uh, other stuff. I'll get into that in a little bit. And overall, excuse me, where'd that come from? Uh, everything. Um, I am working now. My video, my videos, mainly my fan fiction reviews. It's literally just going to be the reviews that are going to be slowing down a little bit because of what's hap because of a couple and things that are happening. First off, I need to work on getting food stamps. Uh, I do, um, if I plan on moving out, I have to, you know, have to keep money in my account to pay for the rent of where I'm living and with the possibility of you know me getting having to fight for my son cu my son's custody i'm gonna have to you know have food stamps so that way i can at least offset or at least slightly i guess you can say put a band-aid on the whole situation on it uh and try and help me because if i you know if i don't wait if you know if, uh where it is where i would be moving to has like stores close by so i can easily you know walk there i don't have to use my car as much unless to get to work or especially if I get a job closer to public, I can just walk. I can just walk to uh, work if I get if I get to a job at public uh, the public's nearby. There. Uh, not to mention my friend who's helping me set everything up to move there is uh, kind of worried that you know I'm getting paid bi-weekly instead of weekly like he expected me to. And he thinks that might actually kind of screw, uh, might actually screw it up. He can kind of do the same. He does, he gets paid bi-weekly, but he pay, gets paid about more than me. He gets close. He gets paid about close to five hundred, five hundred fifty dollars every two weeks. I get paid close to four hundred dollars every two weeks. So of course he's, so he thinks I, you know, I need to get a second job, which I wouldn't. Uh, depending on what happens, I may have to get. Um, he also said, you know, try goof. Go, try and go for YouTube. You don't know when it's going to, you know, you don't know when you're going to get your success from. Um, and I said, if I can get my sick, if I get successful at YouTube, then, you know, I, you know, I can do, I'll do that. But, you know, I'm, I'm with, I'm right with you. you know, like, I may need to get two jobs. I'm going to try. But I figured uh, food stamps might try and slow it down a bit. I may, you know, getting paid two, $250 a week. And I know how to budget really well, despite the fact what my mom and my ex says. I know how to budget. I know how to budget. I can budget if I want to. I just have a really bad habit of stress drinking chocolate milk. Especially if I, you know, if I have to put everything, uh, my uh, my son ahead of me. Uh, that's another thing. If once I do move out, then I will be fighting for custody for my son. So that's going to, so that in and of itself is going to eat up a, a lot, a lot of time. And I don't know what's going to happen. It may go smoothly. It may go rocky. Uh, my mom will not stop bugging me over a cut over. Oh, you have to pay child support. You have to pay child support. And you know, you know, if I can't, I can't let my mom know my little sister's outside, so I'm lower my voice a little bit. Because if my mom, if. My mom finds out that I'm gonna planning on fighting for custody of my son, then she's gonna find out eventually. I'm planning on moving out, and she won't like that, and she'll throw a fit, and she'll try and guilt trip me and force me into staying at her house to literally constantly put all my money on her, give her all my money, so that way you know she could spend all these crap, all these exp uber expensive items, and then constantly complaining about oh oh I'll just ask my son for more money. He could willing to give it to me because he because. I own him, <laughs> and he owes me for simply giving birth to him. If you didn't want to give, if you didn't want to, 
I, to all those people who you know who constantly act like this way, if you're gonna if you're gonna say your child owns you own the child and they owe you everything, then you shouldn't have had the kid in the first place. Just saying it as is. Um, but anyway, I am I do plan on fighting for my son, so that requires. You know, that requires time, and time I will not be able to put into my, specifically my fanfiction reviews. Uh, I may, I'm still going to be doing, uh, uploading video games, because, you know, I actually kind of just put those in a bulk thing. I uh, spent a couple hours with my friend just recording videos, and I kind of bulk them up, and so I'd be able to do that. Uh, in terms of the fanfiction read, in terms of the fanfiction, I'm still going to be doing a couple more reviews. Uh, I still have the last story in uh, Death Cloud's videos. Uh, I believe it's called, what's the story called? Um, what's the story called? Dueling for a Chance. And then after that, I'm going to be doing like a little uh, side video, just a little fun video of if I had to guess what Yu Gi Oh decks the My Little Pony characters would have, mainly just the main six, and I guess Sunshet. Uh, what would they be? Um, and after that, I got two more reviews, uh, which are Naruto Mysterious Power and Fallout Equestria Pink Eyes. And then after that, uh, you'll just be seeing more readings and also something, uh, readings of My Crazy World, uh, if they're available. Uh, my, uh, oh, and this thing that I actually want to talk about. It's called, um... What I was doing the plans to do is start a YouTube channel. There was two things I wanted to talk about. One, I wanted to talk about games. I love games. I still do. I you know. I in my game in my in my gaming videos. You know, I'm playing games. I'll talk about them. I may talk about. I may talk about games, but more importantly, I wanted to talk about literature. I've been reading literature for almost 20 years. I know what I'm talking about. I read all sorts of novels. I know how. I know what makes stories work. And I wanted to do a series sort of to talk about the history and legacies of various authors and stories and series and you know stuff like that and you know what what made reading the, the very popular medium it is today and it be, and I'd be calling it le, uh, literature legacy and I basically and, I, and every episode I just talk about you know something uh, either an author or a story or you know series stuff and you know aspects and talk about the little history and what what impact it would have it had on either the literature or pop culture or everything as a whole uh, i do have a couple ideas uh one will be talking about agony and pink i keep mentioning it throughout like all my videos that and my immortal i did talk about my immortal in my mary sue video but I would, I actually would like to go into more detail with these two videos. Uh, another idea is the conversion bureau, uh, because of how, because of how much damage it did to the Brony uh, fan, the My Little Pony fandom as a whole. I mean, oh, My Little Pony uh, conversion bureau did a number on the fan base with with Chitoyans and everything. Uh, another idea I had was the impact of Harry Potter in the pop culture, stuff like that. Uh, these stories would technically, I would only be able to do these videos about once a month if I, if, you know, if I get enough pop, if you would actually, you know, want me to do it because I would, I, unlike the fan fiction readings and reviews, I would have to go into research on these uh, to get the best clear. The only ones I would know, I know intimately about is My Immortal and Agony and Pink. Um, and I know a little bit about Conversion Bro, but outside of those three, outside of like the, like the big fan fiction stuff, I don't know that much. I do I get hence why I would require the research, like you know, the Harry Potter the Harry Potter video. You know, I would have to do research on that. Uh, I would I actually want to do a video about a introspection on Stephen King and and his contributions to the literature uh, medium as a whole because you know he's he was kind of for. For you know, when he started reading, writing, and doing all these weird stories, he kind of saved literature as a whole. Um, and do like a video on him, but that would require research. Uh, do a research on Jurassic, on the Jurassic Park novel. Uh, do all these videos, and you would have to. I would actually have to get suggestions on this. Maybe do uh, do do uh, these videos on mangas too. I mean, I don't read mangas all the time. Um, unless they're like slice of life, I don't like I don't like the shonen mangas because I think 
I, I just they just they just feel weird reading them. But you know, something like Monster Masume, uh, Rama One Half, uh, Azumaya Dayo. I read. I actually read Azumaya Dayo. Uh, quite a bit when I was younger. Uh, I read a couple of chapters in Yawasha. I read um, well, either comedy or slice of life stories, like the actiony stuff. I didn't like because I just it, it just didn't feel right to me. Uh, but I w I will do it if if it means you know ha uh, if you know the fans ask for it. You 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 the fans would have we will have complete control on what uh, what the video subjects will be about. And my takes on it, you can kind I guess you can kind of call Mary Sue the pilot sort of, because I try I because I try to be subjective and objective at the same time because you have to find a middle ground because if you become too subjective then you know you're just talking about then you don't then you're kind of not bringing any passion in your own true thoughts into it but if you're being objective then you're pretty much talking your own take hence why I suggest you know this is my own my own take of the story and you know everyone has their own take I say that at the beginning of every fan fiction review uh, except, I guess, to duel to save Camp Rainbow Free. I completely forgot about that. I completely forgot to say that in that video. Um, and, of course, you have to bring your own uh, objectivity, but also your own subjectivity to it. Um, like I said, I really, this is actually one, this is one of the big two projects I want to uh, work on, along with fan fiction. Uh, was do these little tidbits and talk about the history and the imp and and the impact of how we how literature changed as a whole and how we became lo uh, love. Um, my friend Agent X, who's helping me with the spider the Spider Man, and is actually allowing me to use her PS4 to record Resident Evil Zero. She also suggested uh, I get a Discord. Uh, I might actually get a Discord. Uh, but I would actually, I would have to actually, you know, talk to her about everything and, you know, ask ask her for help. So I will actually kind of do an update on uh, a tiny little update, probably about a minute or two long. Just talk about the Discord situation when I, you know, I, if I decide to eventually do, if I do the Discord stuff like that. Um, if I had access to, I would actually like to do Crash Bandicoot again. Uh, but that's a while away. Um... Hmm. Yeah, that's uh, that's actually everything I need to talk about. Uh, other readings, I might actually do them on and off, but again, um, I gotta put my real life first. And right now, the my food, the fact that I need to get food stamps and moving out is more important. So I'm well. I will be doing this stuff, uh, and of course, uh, my I will still be doing this stuff. But once the, the reading the Reviews are done. I'm just gonna be sticking with readings, my crazy world, the game, uh, the video game stuff, and possibly the first real episode. The I guess you could say the pilot of literature legacy. Uh, we're talking about uh, the history and the impact. I guess either I can't decide between my uh, agony and pink or my immortal. One of those two. Leave a comment in the comment section below. Ag should I review? Should I talk about agony and pink or should I talk about my immortal? I've been talking about. Or maybe conversion, bro. If you want, if you want me to, uh, one of those three, because these are the ones I know the most about without like having to do research and stuff like that. Because I actually did the research on Agony Pink and My Immortal. Uh, of course, I alluded to My Immortal in, my, in the Mary Sue video, and of course, conversion, bro. That I just simply have to go on on fimfiction.net and just browse and just browse, or you know has a TV church page on, uh, page on it as well as like a, its own wiki. I believe it has its own wiki. I think so. Plus I actually know about uh, enough about uh, Converge World that I can kind of do it. Uh, everything after those three, you know, it's going to be up to you, the subscribers, uh, as well as My Crazy World. The next video for My Crazy World. I can't believe I actually had the, my, the Rouge video in my backlog in my computer for so long and I completely forgot to upload it. I uploaded it just recently and now I'm going to be working on the next episode which is going to be talking about the Fenrir, um, the Fenrir area, Fenrir and Orbulus, uh, those two stories and then after that we're going to be setting into Cryosis with the, um, the, the Astron, the Astron arc. Which is the bit, the first major arc of the Cryosian era. 
And yeah, so that's a bit. That's a that's an update. Uh, again, tell me what you th if you have any thoughts on it. You can either comment on the section below, or you can actually p uh private message me through my fanfiction.net page. It's uh, you uh, fanfiction.net forward slash user forward slash dark symphony seven seven seven. Same thing as a YouTube channel. Same thing. So you just make your own. If you don't have your own profile, just make a uh, guest prof uh, a profile just to message me. Uh, I um, anyone who even thinks of saying Twitter or Facebook, I'm not gonna. I haven't used Twitter in so long. I don't want to use Twitter, uh, and I don't want to use Facebook. Maybe I may actually make a video in the future just discussing why I don't use social media because I, sooner or later it's gonna come up in a conversation. And sooner or later it's gonna come up. I'm gonna have to discuss it sooner or later. And I figured sooner rather than later. So uh, this has been Dark Symphony Seven 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 and.